Hey everyone, and welcome back to Sports Design School. Now recently I've had several of you guys reach out to me in my DMs on Instagram, which if you're not following us on Instagram already, go follow us at Sports Design School on Instagram. But I've had several of you guys reach out asking about this design in particular. Now this design is an amazing design from PTDZN, that's PT Design on Instagram. And a little bit about PTDZN, his name is Pedro. Pedro is an amazing designer. Seriously, all of his work is fantastic. Scroll through and check out some of his recent projects because every single one is mind blowing. His treatment that he uses for like player overlays and like the way that he does his lighting and things like that, it just all looks so great. So I definitely recommend checking out him on Instagram. But like I said, several of you guys reached out on Instagram and said, please recreate this design or at least show us how to do something similar. And so today I'm going to be walking through a similar design I created, showing you each layer and talking a little bit about how to do each step in the process and then why I did the things that I did. So it's going to be an awesome video, guys. Let's go ahead and just jump right in. Now, before I get started, quick reminder, our goal for each one of these videos is to get 50 likes. So if you're enjoying our channel and the content we put out and excited about this video, go ahead and drop a like. We would really appreciate it. But back to the video. So here we have this design from PT Design. And here is the version that I went through and recreated. This is with a Tim Duncan cutout I just pulled off of Google. And I'm just gonna go through and turn off all of our layers and kind of walk through the basics of my design process when recreating a look like this. Now you notice our spray paint overlay isn't the same as their spray paint overlay, but overall I think we did a pretty good job of recreating the bare bones of this design. Again, PT Design is an awesome designer. Go follow him. I highly recommend it. So I'm just going to start off by going through and turning off some of these things. And don't worry, we'll go through and cover these later. But I just want to get to a point where it is easy for you guys to follow along on what we are doing in this design. But overall, you can see nothing too complicated, not too many layers or anything like that. Pretty simple work. Okay, so here we are. We have our main essence of our design. We have a solid white background, which for those of you wanting to know, my canvas size is 6 by 6.4 by 8 inches or roughly 1920 by 2400 pixels. That's the dimensions I typically go with when designing for Instagram. And then on top of this white solid background, I just added a black brush kind of spray paint overlay. Now where this came from is I simply used one of these spray paint brushes that I have installed and then I just clicked like that. You can see it's the exact same brush. And I got this spray paint brush set completely for free from this website called Brush Easy. They have tons of great packs and I'll include the link to this pack on the in the description so you can download it for yourself if you would like to. But basically I just installed this brush set and then painted in the background. And that's how we have this main spray paint part of our image. Next, I'll get into the Tim Duncan portion of this design. So basically, I have this Tim Duncan cutout, which I pulled off of this image off of Getty. I mean, not straight from Getty. I just did a Google search and found it. So. And again, I'll include the PSD, so if you want this cut out for whatever reason, you'll be able to. But I have this Tim Duncan cut out, and I applied a couple of different effects. But before I show you the different effects I applied, I want to walk through and show you how I clipped this Tim Duncan duck cut out to our spray paint effect. So here you can see there's a bunch of masking and stuff going on. So essentially what I did is we have this Tim Duncan cutout like this. You can see just completely normal. And I overlaid it onto the spray paint effect, but the thing is you can see in the bottom, it's kind of a hard line right here. And I want this to blend perfectly with my spray paint pattern. So the best and easiest way to go about doing this is to go down to my spray paint pattern and click on this thumbnail right here while hitting com command. And that's, I believe, control if you're on Windows. 
And that brings up this selection here where you're able to select all of the parts of this layer. And then we can go up to our cutout and simply just hit mask. And that masks everything to that particular selection. And then we can go here with a new brush, making sure we're selecting our mask right here and just paint back in the top part of our Tim Duncan image. And that's how we got it to clip to our spray paint background. Now after adding in the Tim Duncan image, I added an inner glow just to give it a little bit more of a well lit effect. And you can see my settings for that here. So I have my opacity set to 12 with my blending mode on vivid light. Another important note, my size for my inner glow is 117. And then I added a couple of filters to really make this cutout stand out. So I added this kind of high pass overlay just to bring out more details in my image. It's a really subtle effect. But if you don't know how to do that, you can simply just go up to, you can duplicate your image and then hit filter, other, high pass. Then hit okay. And then change your blending mode to overlay. And you can see that creates this very sharpened effect. And then you can turn your fill down and play around with the sharpening as much as you want to. On this version, I have it set to 45. Now after that, I wanted to make sure my highlights really popped and stood out. I think PT Design did a great job of making sure that the highlights really were bright and white. And so instead of going through and playing around with the actual highlight settings, I just created a white fill for all of the highlights. And you can do that by going to select, color range, and then choosing highlights. From there, you hit okay, and that'll pop up a selection, and you just simply choose solid color after having your selection. And that gives you the ability to add in this highlight, these highlights right here. And then after doing all of those things, I added in a levels adjustment tool just to kind of level out the colors a little bit and add in some contrast. So now we have our back Tim Duncan image. From there, I added in the front Tim Duncan image. Again, this time with the exact same clipping method on our paint. And then I did the same exact things for this cutout. Now after adding in these two images, I noticed that PT Design does this thing where he makes the eyes of his designs super bright white. And that's something I wanted to create too. Now I noticed that I added in my color fills, but they didn't get my eyes just as white as I wanted to. So I added in an exposure adjustment and I masked out just the eyes. So you can see here, everywhere where my eyes are, it's a bright white color. And you can see on my exposure, I literally just turned the exposure up like three, just to make sure that they are nice and bright white. And that is easy enough. Now another thing PT Design had is this small element right here where he had a green X. Now, luckily enough, in this exact same spray paint brush pack, there is a green X brush. It's something like this. And all I did is I clicked with my brush set to green, just like that. And I actually duplicated it just to make sure that the opacity is nice and not see through at all because sometimes spray paint brushes can kind of have a weird opacity effect. So here we have those elements of our design. The next thing I added in was this back cutout effect that PD Design carried through. And basically all I did for this is I created a new layer, hit P to bring up my pen tool. I simply just clicked a bunch of straight lines. You get the gist. Now after doing that, I simply hit shape and a new shape is created. And then from there we can change our color to black. And that was our black outline kind of effect. And then I added in a few more details. So using those same spray paint brush sets, I added a little bit more spray paint here on the left side and then a little bit more spray paint here on the neck area. 
and then a little bit more spray paint here behind our front cutout, just to get it as close as possible to our original design. Now we just have a few more things left here in this design. One of them is this print overlay. Now this print overlay is not the exact same as PT Design, but I found it from this pack called Affirma, I believe is how you pronounce it. And they just have tons of awesome like overlays and things like that. It's really not the best pack to be honest, but it seemed to be kind of similar. And so it's simply just a black print text kind of stamp effect. And I just dragged that in and positioned it right there. Now from here, we just have a few more effects left. We have this 21 design, which I have a couple of effects applied to. So the original cutout that I got was simply this Tim Duncan jersey. And I simply dragged this into Photoshop and then clipped out the 21 using my pen tool. And then from there, I wanted to play around with the settings a little bit. So I increased the exposure using the camera raw filter. You can see increasing the exposure and the contrast just to make sure it's not like a milky gray. It's more of a bright white with some light gray accents. Just like that. And then I wanted to make sure that it's easier to see up against the white and black background. So I used a levels adjustment tool on that just to create the black outline. So simply all that did is took our light grays and made them black, which is super helpful in making it easier to see. And then the last thing I did for this Tim Duncan design is added this big fundamental text. Now you notice there's a little bit of an interesting distortion with this text. So it's not just straight across, but for those of you wondering my text, I simply did the big fundamental with my text set to black, my text font set to Futura condensed extra bold. That's Nike's font if you don't know. Increasing the font size a little bit and decreasing my kerning to negative 40. But you'll see there's no distortion applied yet. And the way we can do that is by simply going up to filter, distort, displace. Now what this allows us to do is choose a displacement map for our text, which allows us to distort the text and make it have all those jagged lines. I'm going to hit convert to smart object. For my scale, I'm going to choose three and three, and then I'm just going to search SDS displacement map. And what that does is it distorts our text using that displacement map where we're able to then distort our text. Now, if you want the file that I used for my displacement map, I'll include that in the link in the description if you want to check that out. But there we have it, the big fundamental text right here. And then I simply added inspired by PT Design at the very bottom. Again, thank you so much, PT Design. Your work was awesome, and we really enjoyed the inspiration from it. Keep up the great work there. For those of you that enjoyed this video and really liked kind of the way that we went through and broke down each one of these layers, please drop a like on the video. That's how I know that these videos are helping you guys out and that I need to put out more like these in the future. If you have any questions, either drop them down in the description or send them over to me on Instagram. I would love to help you guys figure out whatever questions you may have about this. I'll put the PSD down in the description as well if you would like to download it and just play around with the layers for yourself. In terms of like recreating this design and using it for your own Instagram, I would say probably hold off because this isn't my design, this is PT Design's design. So definitely probably don't post it, but instead just use this as a learning tool for yourself. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy it. We're getting up to a point where we're pretty close on getting monetized on the channel, which means hopefully before too long, I'll be able to buy a new laptop, which means no jet noise sound in the back of these videos, which would be awesome. So please go back and watch any old videos that I have. It would be a super big help for the channel. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.